Hello there guys, my name is Luke and welcome to part two of Transfer Bonanza number four for non-league and in this video we're going to be doing the transfers that have happened in the National League North, National League South as well as the top five biggest coups from the last three weeks. If you missed part one then go and watch that one first, link is going to be in the description, top line of the description and that included all of the transfers that have happened in the National League and players that have moved up to the Football League. So without any further ado let's get straight into part two of the non-league transfer Bonanza. Now on to the segment called the top five biggest coups. In my opinion, these are the top five most impressive signings from this period. In number five is Luke Coulson, who is a winger and joins Ebbsfleet from Barnet in the Football League for an undisclosed fee. Sam Deering is number four, who joins Billericay Town from Ebbsfleet United for a free transfer, but he will be on a massive salary. Jermaine Hilton joins Solihull Moors in the National League after being released by Swindon Town. Josh Law joins York City of the National League North after playing over half of the matches for Oldham Athletic in League One last season. And in number one is Jack Redshaw, a very, very good striker, rejoins Salford after playing for them five years ago. He rejoins the club having the, with the club having changed drastically since then. He's also improved massively as a player and he's back at the club having left Blackpool. He spent most of pre-season at Rochdale but joins the National League club, I would presume, on a very healthy salary. So we're going to start off in the National League North and first of all Anthony Dwyer has joined AFC Telford after a successful trial period. Alfred has made four signings, Billy Priestley the most notable one after impressing for Salford City last season. Lewis Morrison appeared on Love Island in 2015 and now joins Alfred in town. Cecil Naoni rejoins the club after leaving to join Gainsborough near the end of last season. Andre Johnson joins from Corby Town. Boston United have signed Jordan Keane who appeared at the Vardy Academy in the summer. Curzon Ashton have signed Max Leonard from Glossop North End. Darlington have signed winger James Caton from Dover Athletic. FC United Manchester, they've made a lot of signings. The first three are Mika Evans, Jason St. Juiced and Aidan Chippendale. The other three signings made by FC United, Joel Logan who joins from Geisley, Oliver Crowley who joins from Staley Ridge Celtic and Richie Baker who joins from last season's champions AFC Fylde. Gainsborough Trinity have made the one signing in the last three weeks, that is Richard Walton on a season long loan from Lincoln City. He is a goalkeeper. Another goalkeeper that's moved is Kidderminster Harriers have signed Brandon Hall from Woking. Yet another goalkeeper that moved was Ross Durant who joins North Ferry from Boston. Salford have made a signing of a goalkeeper Tony Aguirre from Burnley and Jack Redshaw, an unbelievable coup from Blackpool. He spent most of this preseason on trial at Rochdale in League One, yet he has gone and signed for Salford, an amazing coup for them. Spennymore Town have signed Matthew Dixon from North Ferriby and Jason Orell from Hartlepool United. Southport have made six signings in the last three weeks. Ian Turner is the first one who joins as a player coach from Tranmere. John Paul Kissick returns to the club six years after leaving. Gary Roberts joins on an undisclosed fee from Bangor City. Mark Halstead, very good young goalkeeper there, joins from Shrewsbury Town. Brad Jackson joins from Burnley on a season-long loan. And Steve Schumacher, very good signing on that one, very experienced at a higher level. He joins from Stevenage. Then York City, they have signed Josh Law from Oldham Athletic, an outstanding signing in my opinion. And Yasim Sukar from Arbroath in Scotland. Now moving over to the National League South and Battersea have signed Marvin Morgan on a permanent deal after he spent the last season on loan at the club from Havenant and Waterlooville. Bogner Regis Town have made three signings, Joe Lee from Yeovil Town, Pat Suraki from Gosport and Tommy Scott from Portsmouth, all central midfielders. Chippenham Town have signed two players, Josh Morgan Williams from Yate Town and Scott Donnelly, an experienced midfielder from Farnborough. Chelsea City have made one big signing and that is Sean Batt from Barnet. Dartford have signed Mark Onyemar from Thurrock and Eastbourne have signed three players, Will Hendon from Worthing, Matt Drake from Dulwich Hamlet and Yemi Odibade returns to the club from Mason United. National League South newcomers Gloucester City have signed Edgy Mbunga who has come over from Scandinavia. Hampton and Richmond Borough have signed Sam Howes on a six month loan from Watford. He spent time at the club on loan last season. Hungerford Town have made one signing, Matt Partridge from Basingstoke Town in the 7th tier. Truro City have made four signings, Aaron Lamont from Kingstonian, Noah Keats who has come over from the USA, 
Billy Palfrey from Plymouth Argyle and Alex Hartridge who joins on a season long loan from Exeter City. Wheelstone have made two signings, Liam Harwood a centre back from Margate, Jerome Akimo who rejoins the club from Braintree Town, he left a few years ago and now rejoins. Western Supermare round up the final National League South transfer with Jake Morford from Dorchester Town. Now on to some other players that you may know that have joined non-league clubs. Manny Brown, otherwise known as his YouTube account, Manny has 1.3 million subscribers and he has signed for Romford who play in the 8th tier. He ran a Sunday league series on his YouTube channel last season but now is going to be playing on a Saturday for Romford. It is his first semi-professional club, so congratulations to him. He impressed at the pre-season trials. He wasn't sort of selected to sign for them just because of his fame. He succeeded at the trials and joins having warranted his place at the club. The next one is Jake Quickenden, who joins Osset Town in the 8th tier as well. He appeared on X Factor twice, first time in 2012, where he got eliminated at judges houses stage and in 2014 where he got to the live shows he was also the runner-up of i'm a celebrity get me out of here in 2014 and his previous clubs include frickley athletic and bottesford town now on to best of the rest which includes the highlights of the best transfers from teams in the seventh tier or below altrincham are the first one on this list who have signed jordan hume from salford city a very impressive striker that will do a lot at 7th tier level for Altrincham. Billericay Town, again another team at 7th tier, have signed Sam Deering, outstanding for Ebersleet last season. He's going to be on a lot of money at Billericay, a big money signing for them. Gaul AFC have signed Wade Fairhurst, a great signing that for the 8th tier side. Matlock Town have signed Sean Harrod from Torquay United. Shoreline AFC have signed Damian Reeves from Altrincham. Tunbridge Angels have signed son of Dover Athletic Manager Chris Kinnear. Chris Kinnear? His son, with the same name, joins after being released by his dad at Dover. Warrington Town, one of the most impressive signings on this list. Sean Beely from Barrow, great signing. And finally, Whitby Town sign Andy Monkhouse from Alfreton Town. So there you have it, that is the end of part two and the end of non-league transfer balanza number four for the 2017-18 season. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Really would appreciate it, really helps my channel out. I'm trying to get to 1,500 subscribers. So close now, if you guys could help me to get there, that would be absolutely awesome. But anyway, thanks for watching.